What's up everyone, this is Luciano with Korg, here with another episode of Patch of the Week on The Nautilus. We're continuing our discussion this week on the SGX2 piano sound engine on Nautilus, giving you some quick tips to help make some cool piano sounds. This week we're going to turn our attention to the components section of the SGX2 main page, and if you're not sure what damper resonance, damper noise, mechanical noise are, we'll go over exactly what they do in this video. Now first step, we want to get back to the SGX2 main page by clicking on the picture of the piano. And we'll see the components section in the bottom right corner of this page. Now let's start with the first one, damper resonance. Now by pressing down the damper pedal on a grand piano, it lifts the felt dampers from all the strings across the entire keyboard, and this allows the strings to resonate freely. Now in this state, when you play any note on the rest of the keyboard of a piano, it causes all of the strings to vibrate slightly, and this is what creates a rich tone when you play a grand piano. So we're going to demo it now so you can hear the difference. I recommend putting in headphones since this is the subtlety of the piano sound. So I'm going to start by turning off all of the other components except damper resonance and I'm going to hold my sustain pedal down for the C major chord. Now we're going to turn off damper resonance. And here's one more of it back on. So you can hear a big difference in the warmth and fullness of the sound when damper resonance is turned on. Next up is damper noise, and this happens when the damper pedal is pressed down and you hear a slight noise when the dampers rise up from the strings, and this is what you can control in the damper noise parameter. Listen closely for this one as I pulse the sustain pedal up and down, you'll hear it in the background very quietly. As with all of the components in the SGX2, you can adjust exactly how much you want and find the right balance for your sound. Next up is mechanical key noise. Now this mechanical sound is of the key being released. So when you release a key on the piano, the hammer goes back down and it rests on a bed of felt. And that sound of the hammer going back down is the mechanical key sound that you're adjusting. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and turn the mechanical key noise all the way up and listen for the sound when I release the note. And here's the note without mechanical noise. and listen closely as I turn it back up. These three components that we discussed today are the top three that I use to get the right timbre for my piano sounds. Thanks for checking out another episode of Patch of the Week. We'll be back next week with more SGX2 quick tips.